Well, you know, the funny thing about it is uh, when we had Captain Treacherous and he started his career, you know, it was such an amazing ride with that horse. And, uh, you know, to come back and have this colt right after that, I mean, it's, it's just, it's, it's amazing. It's very surreal. Stand out here. Everybody who's involved in this business and people who would like to be involved in it, this is a thrill. This is an absolute thrill and to be enjoyed. Congrats, Marvin. Thank Go you. celebrate. And when I showed him some air down the lane, he, he was game, man. I, he's a freak of nature. How much more does he have? I don't, even, I don't even know. He'd probably come home at about 26 and 2. I mean, I didn't even chirp to him. comes Artspeak unleashed here by Scott Ziron. Artspeak with an eye-catching rally. He blew past them. Artspeak, and he's wrapped right up. Artspeak, an impressive win by two. Weapons dealer hand the lead, but powering past is Artspeak on the outside to the front. And Delta winner with a huge recovery in the middle of the racetrack for Dave Miller. Hurricane Ali toward the inside. Artspeak leads it. Ali, Delta winner on the outside third. They're heading down to the finish. Art Speak has it. Art Speak is a wrapped up winner from Hurricane Ali. Delta winner at Western Pioneer. 152 and 3. up on the outside. Art Speak is wrapped up. Ziron puts the whip away and Art Speak is just cruising home here from well, well, well in McArdle's Lightning. Art Speak impressive in 150 and 4. Over, but it's Art Speak who's still there. He's on top by two and he is just toying with this field. Art Speak now. Zeron calls on him to sprint now and Art Speak does. Art Speak to cruise home. He'll win by two and a half lengths and it's Art Speak. Much the best. Here's Art Speak on the move out of fourth now. As Zeron honks on the gas pedal in the second quarter, and it's Art Speak rushing up out of fourth to third to second, and he's the leader at a 56 and two half. But Jingra hasn't released him just yet. Art Speak has got a head in front. Lions again is going to test him a bit as they go into the turn. Art Speak on the outside, in at the rail second. That is Lions again. So it's Art Speak there coming on as he's got three quarters of a length up in front from Lions again, who's back into second. Third to the outside is Amora Beach, the wayfaring man from in fourth. Covered up on the outside, fifth is Pierce Hanover. Lions again comes back on at the rail. Art Speak is second on the outside. Three quarters up in 123 and three. That was a 27 and one throwdown in that third quarter. Zeron still on the outside comes on with Art Speak now. It's Art Speak who grabs the lead. Lions again is back into second. Sitting along from in third is Amora Beach. Then outside fourth is Pierce Hanover. They're in deep stretch. And here's Art Speak. And Zeron hasn't lifted the whip. Art Speak is all by himself in deep stretch here. And it's Art Speak to win. Under wraps going away. Won it by five. Yeah, you know, he's, a, uh, he's an absolute freak. So, uh, I, you know, I, I knew I wasn't going to clear. I needed maybe a, a fraction of an inch to do it, and he wouldn't give it. But I just decided to just sit with him, and then when we came for, uh, off the top turn, I just chirped to him once, and he was gone. I mean, I didn't have to pull the plugs either. Art Speak still under a hand drive at the rail. Sicily is trapped in behind him. Blood Brother on the outside. Tracker Hanover in the middle of the racetrack. It is Art Speak as they head down to the finish. Tracker Hanover closing late. Sicily up the rail. Art Speak, a wrapped up winner in 151 and 3. Outside, the wayfaring man is fourth and edging out three wide. Art Speak drifting in the arsenal. Room to Art Speak broke. Art Speak jumped it off in the arsenal to the lead. Cartoon Daddy on the outside in the arsenal. And he's closing in, but Pierce Hanover's clear. Pierce Hanover, Blood Brother, down to these two. It's Pierce Hanover in the outside, digging deep. Pierce Hanover won't let Blood Brother by the wheel. And Pierce Hanover upsets here. still there, Pierce Hanover. Pierce Hanover, the leader by a length and a half. As he's by three quarters, 
blazing by there in 121 and 4. Art Speak rips off cover and Zeron feeds him racetrack now. Still on that lead is Pierce Hanover. Here comes Art Speak bearing down on that leader. Art Speak is brushing up and coming on. And here's Art Speak on the outside. Back to second goes Pierce Hanover. Go Daddy Go splitting through late. Still there, Art Speak with Go Daddy Go. And it's Art Speak with a bounce back score in the Governor's Cup for Zeron and Alanya. Second best was Go Daddy Go. Finishing third was Pierce Hanover and fourth best at the rail was Ark Hanover in 150 and four. And tripped him out on cover behind Big Speed, catapulted off that cover and cruised to a 150 and four score on what's been a sensational season for the rookie. After I trained him on Wednesday, I had all the confidence in the world. Marvin and I had dinner and uh, Al Lipfield and Sam Goldman and uh, I told him that night at dinner, I said, he's, he's, he's back on his game, we got our horse back. Been down this road numerous times. Where does Art Speak stack up? I mean, uh, you've had horses with Tony for a number of years. Uh, um, other trainers, uh, Jimmy Tactor. You've been down this road numerous times. I guess it's su it's got to be such a thrill to be in the winner's circle with a great colt here like Art Speak. He absolutely is a great ho uh, great horse. These uh, these are really big demands we're making of these horses. This is a two-year-old. He's raced a big campaign. He started in, early in the season. He won at the Meadowlands. He came here. He won the Metro. He won in Lexington. He's come back and won the Governor's Cup. That's a lot of work for a two-year-old, and clearly he's dominated the. Field. Field. We're so proud of him. You're a local owner, a businessman here of Toronto. What is it about harness racing that uh, appeals to you? Just the inclusiveness of it. As Tony just said, that we had dinner together on Thursday night and we had a glass of wine together and just the ability to access the people involved, no matter if they're stars or, or just the people that work in the, in the grooms and everyone involved. It's the most wonderful environment and the most wonderful industry. It's inclusive and allows everyone to participate and feel great when the good things happen. Congratulations. Well deserved. Thank you, Greg. Thank you.